how to produce millions of tons of soybeans. Soybean cultivation begins with the selection of appropriate seeds for the local climate and soil conditions. The seeds are then planted in rows in the field, typically using a seed drill or a planter. Once the seeds have germinated and the seedlings have emerged, the soybean plants require regular watering and fertilization to support their growth. Soybeans are used in a variety of products, including cooking oils, animal feed, and soy milk. Soy milk is made by grinding and mixing soybeans with liquid and fresh milk, and the resulting product is then subjected to quality inspection. If the product passes inspection, it's ready for packaging and distribution. Soybean harvesting. When the green colors descend from the crops, this becomes a message for the farmers that the crops are ready to be harvested. This is the time when the rolling harvesters come into action by running in the fields like swallowing the crops. Meanwhile, another tractor follows the rolling harvester so that it can place the beans at its back. The list of most soybean cultivating and producing countries contain various countries around the globe but Brazil holds the privilege of being the top soybean producing country. Other than Brazil, the United States, Argentina, China, India, and so on. Soybean is produced due to their higher demand than any other cooking oils because they can bear higher temperature and has the heart conscious profile fat rate. At the end of September, the crops mature. With days getting shorter and the temperature shifts from warm to cool, then both of these factors propel the plants to turn its leaves yellow. Consequently, in the middle of October to November, the leaves transform into brown and begin to fall and prepare the grain to be ready for harvesting. This is how the adoption of modern technology in agriculture saves time and resources for the farmer, with the provision of greater product benefits and lessen the quantity of wastage. This is all becoming possible by utilizing such machines and tractors in the fields. Soybean beverages. This may be something new for you to hear, but yes, soybean is also used for manufacturing a particular beverage known as soy milk, which is the top and demanded product that's being manufactured by various factories. Beverage manufacturing starts when the grains of soybean arrive in the factory from the farms where they're produced, where they're placed in a sack and lifted by an automated machine. The grains are then put into tubs and then, respectively, sent into the steamers so that a liquid shape is created from the solid form. During the process, a great amount of these grains are grinded and mixed with the liquid with a full supplement of fresh milk. Please subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any farming or other interesting videos. A quality inspector analyzes the quality of the product through a quality inspection machine. If the results of the analysis come in positive terms, then the inspector marks the stored liquid to be finalized as the final product and marks it ready to be sent in the packaging section. The packaging machines are brought into action upon the arrival of the approval of the liquid. Consequently, the boxes for the beverages are made by the machines at a speed no one can imagine. Once the boxes are rectangularly shaped by the machine, then the boxes are filled with soy milk and become ready to be delivered in the market, which is further distributed to the local market, while some distributors may choose to export to other countries. Besides, the oil that's extracted from soybeans isn't only used for cooking and beverage making purposes, but it's also used in various industries, including the pharmaceutical industry, that further utilize them for various purposes. This is a list of countries that profit by initially importing soybean and then further exporting it to other countries. 
They just target the countries that prioritize the use of natural commodities rather than their substitutes. As soybean is a product widely used for the manufacturing of edible oil, thus this becomes their greatest reason to import it from countries like Brazil that are on the list of highest soybean cultivation countries. Such countries then balance the supply of these items in their domestic markets, while the surplus amount is then exported to countries with keeping the extra margin for themselves. Soybean planting. The soybean plantation is the initial process that's carried out by the choice of quality seeds that ensures the best yielding. The sacks are emptied in the tub, which further assists in their planting. The same tubs are then placed on the plow of the tractors that do the cultivation or plantation of these soybeans on the farms. The plantation season for these crops starts in April and lasts till June and early July. But usually, the first fortnight of June is considered the best for the plantation. This crop mainly requires a duration between 8 to 10 days to rise on the surface of the farms. It also requires to be splashed with water, which is why in farms where modern agriculture techniques are practiced, the farmers have devoted machines that are designed to splash water on the crops. Eventually, after a duration of 45 to 65 days, the farmers become able to reap the efforts that they were continuously doing to get the benefits. Besides, the only plantation that leads to maximization of profit is the above-mentioned period. At times, farmers become greedy and intend to start the plantation earlier, that then results later in a situation like soil compaction and erosion that ultimately leads to devastated crops, with the chance of growing while yielding is something far to come then. Soybean seeds germinate well in areas that have a temperature around 54 degrees Fahrenheit, while being at 60 degrees Fahrenheit is recommended. Meanwhile, a temperature below 54 degrees leads to seed devastation, insect feeding, and slow growth of the plants. <laughs>